Posada? Nah, Yankees are gross. I might still be a little bitter about the playoffs. Ooh, Buster. Beep, 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 ding, ding. Hello, is this the one and only Clint from Swing Away Sports Cards? Hey, this is Scott from Reindeer Studios. How are you, buddy? Great, great, great. Hey, you're the Buster Posey guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was uh, rummaging and I found a 2016 Don Russ Buster Posey I want to sell you. It's got to be worth a fortune, right? How about $400? Really? It's only worth 40 cents? Well, that's not going to help me out very much. Um, how about $40? No, I wouldn't take that deal either. Okay. Uh, $40 and a Buster Marker Doodle? Yeah? Awesome sauce. All right. Thanks, Clint. Hey, superstars, welcome back to the quest for my Holy Grail card. This is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my Grail card, a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. Buster, Buster, Buster. The whole time I was drawing this, I was thinking I was going to show clips of Beavis and Butthead every time I said Butler Posey. I've got a big crack in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> But I know his name is Buster and not Butler. <laughs> I'd like to order a butt. <laughs> what? And it frustrates me that I was going to base this whole voiceover on that. My mind works in weird ways sometimes, you know? And I know who to blame for the whole thing, but I don't want to mention any names, Kalen. Anyway, uh, like we established, Clint from Swing Away Sports Cards is a super nice guy, huge Giants fan. His original idea was to have a drawing of Buster kind of passing the torch somehow down to Joey Bart. Barclay, Barry, Bert, Bort. Oh, come on, Bort? Mommy, Mommy, buy me a license plate. No, come along, Bort. Are you talking to me? Which would have been neat, but he decided to simplify it down to just Buster here. I get it though, Bart really hasn't lived up to the hype yet, I guess. I'm just kind of yammering. Um, I got new markers. My in-laws recently bought me the really expensive Copic markers that all the professionals use. Not that I can't do the same things with the cheap knockoffs I've been using, but these are really, really nice. They blend really well and you can refill them and replace the nibs and stuff. But more importantly, I feel more like a real marker snob now. It's like going from Food Club ketchup to Heinz's fancy ketchup. I recently read an article that compared a bunch of ketchup brands and they said that French's ketchup is actually the best tasting ketchup. I don't believe I've ever tried French's though. I'm a Heinz guy because I sort of have a fondness for Pittsburgh, but I might just have to give French's a shot. Maybe I should do a ketchup taste test and become a ketchup snob too. I like being a snob about random things. Some of you are dreading this and some of you can't wait, so we'll get this over with. Time for a terrible joke. You probably know Buster Posey was a catcher and when he played out of all the Giants, he actually had the shortest commute to work because he only worked from home. Wow, my apologies once again. This is the penultimate Grail Quest video. I just love that word, penultimate. <laughs> <laughs> So I have a couple things I need to bring up. I have not set up an official waiting list and I know quite a few of you have reached out wanting to know when I open commissions back up. I am trying to come up with a fair way to handle that as I don't quite know who reached out when. So I'm still kind of thinking about that and I also have to adjust my pricing a little bit. So I'll give you all an update about all that stuff. Uh, also, the last commission is a really big one and I'm very excited about it, but I'm gonna have to take a bit of a sabbatical to concentrate on that one for a little bit and not spend all my free time editing videos. So I'll probably do my October recap, but other than that, you might not see me for a couple weeks. So I'll miss you guys, but I'll be back.
There's our man Buster looking sharp. The uh, San Francisco background turned out pretty neat, if I do say so myself. One more commission to go. So exciting. Thank you, Clint, for asking me to do this one. It was a blast. As always, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you in a few weeks, hopefully. Would you like a copy of my butt? Uh. <laughs> <laughs>